Good morning, learners. I am your nurse, Anthony. Are you ready to be healthy? Then let's get it on. Before anything else, let me give you some important reminders to observe during our online class. Communication skills. 
share your feelings honestly and listen to others without judgment or blame. Also, treat others with respect. Engage with people in your community. The third dimension is mental health. This means being a lifelong learner by continuously wanting to learn new things and improve one's skills. A mentally healthy person is open to new ideas and experiences that can, if, that can improve life, family, and environment. He or she is aware of her or his abilities and is also to contribute for the improvement of community. To develop your mental health, you must find connection with others, have relaxation techniques, practice gratitude, and stay positive. Emotional health is the fourth dimension of health, and it refers on how well you meet the demands of life and how effectively you adapt to the new conditions. It also entails expressing your joy, love, and optimism in healthy, constructive ways, as well as your sadness, your anger, tension, and fear. To develop our emotional health, we must be aware of our emotions and reactions, think before you act, and express your feelings in appropriate ways. We also have the moral spiritual wellness as the fifth dimension. It relates to your religion, morals, and faith, as well as your own convictions, principles, and personal beliefs. To develop our moral spiritual health, we must engage in regular devotional practices like prayer and meditation. Also must think positively. There you have it. Again, what are the five dimensions of holistic health? So they are the physical health, mental health, social health, moral, spiritual health, and emotional health. Good job. After learning the five dimensions of holistic health, let us discuss how these dimensions interplay with one another. So these five dimensions of holistic health is interrelated. Okay, let's take the case of a person who was infected with COVID-19 or tested positive for COVID-19. What are the signs and symptoms of the infection if the swab test result is positive in COVID-19? So according to the World Health Organization or WHO, we have fever, fatigue, dry cough are, uh, are the most prevalent COVID-19 symptoms. There are some aches and pains, nasal congestion, runny nose, sore throat, or diarrhea that may affect just a small percentage of individuals. As a result, this sick person may feel unhappy and unsafe, which implies she or he may be emotionally affected as well as she or he may feel inadequate, insecure, and unsafe. Since this sick individual is sad and unsafe, how do you think this may affect the mental health of the person? He or she may experience anxiety. Anxiety is developed when a person is worrying about his or her condition. Tested positive to COVID-19, this sick person may be sent to a quarantine facility 
to avoid the spread of the virus. As the sick person is isolated, being alone may also affect his or her emotional health. Relationship with the families, with the friends, and the others may also suffer when a person is unsatisfied and his or her uh, longing for love and affection is not met. When a person's basic requirements of physical, mental, emotional, and social fulfillment are not met, he or she may resort to an ethical activity to meet those wants. It is obvious that, that, that each dimension has an impact to the others. For us to attain the holistic health, we must have strong body, healthy mind, stable emotion, strong relationship, and good decision. Remember, to achieve the well-being for good health, the dimensions are equally crucial. These are like puzzle pieces that must be put together for meaningful, meaningful interrelationships between health variables. To live a happy and fulfilled life, we all seek a healthy balance of all health parameters. It may appear impossible to achieve, but cultivating each dimension now will benefit you for the rest of your life. Let's see how far you understood our lesson for today with this short activity. So the health dimensions are interrelated. However, some activities develop a specific dimension more than others. For the directions, identify the dimension of health mostly developed by the following activities. Comment the corresponding letter of your answer below. P for physical health, S for social health, MS for moral spiritual health, E for emotional health, and M for mental health. Number one, telling the truth. Number two, jogging around the park. Number three, listening to good music. Number four, reading your favorite books. Number five, getting enough sleep and rest. Number six, Eating a balanced diet regularly. Number seven, getting out with family and friends. Number eight, respecting your parents and elders. Number nine, sharing jokes with family members. And number ten, playing chess, checkers, and math games. Let's find out who got all the answers correct. Very well answered learners. So for your assignment, answer activity 3 in your health module and will be checked on your follow-up session. And that's all for today. But before we end our session, always be reminded to keep safe and stay healthy in this time of pandemic. This are the ways to avoid the spread of COVID-19. Again, I am your nurse, Antoinette, signing off.